Monterey, California, after four rounds of competitions, the airtime leading in the free fly competition. And at 13,000 feet, with all these guys in the airplane, you never know if it's competition or if it's a party. Flyboys in Titusville were on top of the pack, first place at the X Trials there. But here, a little bit of a different story. After four rounds, they're in second place. The Flyboys rely on difficult transitions and free flying throughout the routine without linking up. The airtime, the current leaders in Monterey. This team incorporates very unique and creative linked transitions. A second place finish in Titusville, the free fly clowns looking for more here in Monterey. The clowns make their mark with delicate maneuvers and incredible flying skill. We now head to the fifth and final round of competition. The free fly clowns get us underway. Hanging out the door, it's Zipser, Martinengo, and Brian. Flying pieces leaked up requires that both team members are very careful in the way they control their fall rate. It can get away from you very easily, and this shows a great deal of control. Free Fly Clowns still third after five rounds of competition. Fly Boys, their opportunity now in the final round. They're in second place. Free flying requires that each team member possess formidable individual flying skills, as well as being able to fly as a team. Amazing to note that only 40 years ago, it was thought that a human would never be able to stand up and free fall. Apparently, someone forgot to tell the Flyboys. The crazy colored suits, the crazy stunts in the air, all a part of what free flying is all about. Individual personalities coming out. And the final round for the Flyboys spins out of sight. This team makes it very difficult appear simple by staying close, controlling their fall rate perfectly, and keeping together. The camera flyer must also interact with the team and stay in control. Tiny tents of Flyboys wage a valiant effort to try and crack that top spot, but just can't get it done. Still second overall. And for Z Airtime, this could be the championship run here in Monterey. This team is doing well because they effectively combine a number of elements. Link transitions, free flying, sit flying, they can do it all. And here's a move they invented called the skyhook. Extremely difficult while one member's head down and one's head up, linking the feet. And here is a two-man cartwheel, another difficult link transition. Notice how this team is constantly moving. They're continually moving from one skill to another. And here's the spot block, flying over and under. Adrian Nicholas, the camera flyer, doing a commendable job coming into the 97 season under 100 camera jumps. Now, the video here is right side up, but Adrian is flying head down. Now, what he does to get this image is turn his camera upside down. Notice how close Z airtime stays together. They do this by making continuous, subtle adjustments with their hands and body. Team Z airtime, first place overall after five rounds of come. Yeah, I like that. It's a dog eat dog that, world here in this free flying competition because, of course, in Titusville, the Fly Boys were the big winners, but not this time, not in Monterey, California. Final standing, Z Airtime, the big winners. Fly Boys take a second place, and the Free Fly Clowns round out the top three. When we come back, Sky Surfers, fourth round action as we'll get underway after we clean up the mess that the Free Flyers are leaving. Oh,